Happy holidays! I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today I'm going to show you how to make these fruit cake cookies. Everyone loves them and if you don't think you like fruit cake, I think this is going to change your mind. The ingredients you're going to need for this is two and two thirds cups of all purpose flour, one and a half cups of chopped dates, one half cup of chopped pecans, one fourth cup of candied cherries, and they look like this, and I just cut them down. They come into these whole little cherries like this, and you're just gonna chop them down into a fourth of a cup. One fourth cup of chopped candied pineapples, which look like this, and of course, you're just gonna chop them down until you get this texture. One half cup of chopped pineapples, one cup of butter at room temperature, one large egg, one half teaspoon of ground cloves, one half teaspoon of baking soda, fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one half cup of granulated sugar, this is the white sugar, one fourth of a cup of lightly packed brown sugar. Let me show you how we're going to get this together. I'm using my KitchenAid to make these cookies. I'm adding my two sticks of butter, my sugars, and if you want to use a hand mixer to make these cookies, you may. We're going to blend this until it's nice and smooth. Remember to scrape down the sides of your bowl. Very important so you can get all the ingredients well combined. It's time to add the egg. Mix this well. Start adding your flour a little at a time. Add your salt, clove, and baking soda. Add to your mixture here the rest of the flour. All right, the dough's completed. And you see how it's pulled away from the bowl here? That's what you're looking for. Back to the fruit and nuts. On a large bowl, you're going to add your nuts. Your candied, chopped. And you see how fine I've chopped this? kind of stuck to my fingers. I wasn't expecting that to happen. We're just going to get them right out of the bowl. Try to get it all out. And those dried dates. To my mixture, this is optional, I'm adding an apricot flavored brandy. I'm just going to pop the flavors alive with this. It's optional. And we're going to give it a lovely little stirring until those dates and nuts and candy cherries and pineapples absorb that brandy and oh woo, it smells absolutely fantastic we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes and all these flavors are getting to know each other beautiful add that apricot brandy nuts and cherries mm, it is beginning to smell a lot like Christmas into the dough mixture and we're going to fold all these lovely ingredients together until it's well combined and looking like that. Whoa. Time for the cookie sheet. I've been adding my cookies here to a cookie tray using a melon scooper as you see here and they're all uniformed in size and they'll bake at the same time. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want you can just use a spoon to add your cookie dough here onto your cookie sheet. This is about two teaspoons of cookie dough. Off to the preheated oven on the middle rack for 13 to 15 minutes or until they're slightly golden around the edge. Fruit cake cookies are baked. They smell absolutely delicious. I'm gonna give it a try. Mmm. My. Mm. Perfect crunch. The dates, those candied pineapples and cherries, mmm, are just delicious. And a hint of that apricot brandy, it makes all the difference in flavor. You can leave it out if you wish, but I recommend you use it. Hope you give these a try. I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Leave me a comment, give me thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you'll get all my new food videos. Fruit cake cookies, a perfect gift to give or a perfect treat for entertaining. Merry Christmas, and I'll catch you beautiful people later.